the missing corner. Happy July 4th. Welcome to a new vlog. Welcome to a new vlog. I'm still getting used to my short hair. Yesterday was the first day I actually curled it. I mean, this side is still curled, but this side not so much. So, anyway, I'm a busy lady. Yes, I am. I had to put Freya away because I was cleaning and uh, I, she was going after the mop, going crazy, and finally got the mop, and <sighs> she's a handful. Every now and then, I'm like, I really want to get one of her brothers, because I told the lady we might be back to get a sibling, one of her litter mates, because Danny wanted a boy, and I want a girl. I got the girl first, obviously. But having two of them in the same house has its pros and cons. And when I'm super busy like this, I'm like all the cons are like, meh, meh, this is your red flag, don't do it. And then I see how very little the other two dogs want to play with her. And like, oh, the pros would be she'd have a playmate that has the same energy level as her and they could just wear each other out <laughs> when we get our yard completely fenced in we'll reconsider anyway it's monday the first day of july my birth month i'm very excited you guys know that i'm going on a trip i'm heading to indiana let me see i've turned this fan off yeah so i'm heading to indiana um, first Ohio because I'm gonna do a little birthday weekend with my family and Addie's gonna stay with her cousins and then I'm gonna go to to Indiana to be with my best friend for a week and we're just gonna do all the things that we want to do that we don't normally get to do and you'll see some of that stuff when I say all the things we want to do it's like ooh, I want to spend my time going through an antique shop and not have to cater to someone who's younger than me <laughs> you know what I mean a kid like I'm bored I'm hungry I'm thirsty you know that kind of thing or like sitting at the lake not having to worry about putting sunblock on someone else you know that kind of thing you get what I'm saying I'm really really excited we haven't done actually no I flew out there but it was only for like five days and it was 2017 and it was in the winter I was very cold I remember that much and I didn't get to stay very long so that was kind of stinky a time after that I actually brought one kid don't get me wrong I like to take my kids everywhere I usually do I usually take them everywhere but this is my one birthday thing and Danny's like just go leave the kids just go I need to go through these videos and see what I'm gonna keep and not keep but first I gotta clean the kitchen because it's a mess from yesterday so let's get started with that <laughs>
cucumber tomato salad is looking sad. I made myself a little breakfast. I'm gonna put some of this on the side. Maybe make some toast. And I'm also making some more soup. No, you can't see it. So I'm broiling the onions, tomatoes, and that whole clove of garlic, or the bulb of garlic. I think that's what it's called. Here's the custard. Now frozen. Oh. Very lemony. Mm, I like it. That was so good. Kenzie's on her way here, and I'm gonna make sure she gets one because she would enjoy that. I have to do environmental stuff with Freya now. Wish me luck. Lennox is in his Taylor Swift era. <laughs> Um, Freya did very well at Tractor Supply. I actually got her these, there, I got bully sticks and I got, um, pig ears. She's very occupied right now. Oh no, Miss Ma'am. Really? My little baker. She made this wonderful smelling strawberry, what? Cake. Cake bars. Cake bars. See your cake bars if it is not built like you. Someone people. in the oven ate the corner. It's missing. We need to file a report. <laughs> <laughs> You're just so mean. <laughs> Stop! It, it naturally did that. I don't know why. I know why. It's cute. It's gonna be documented now though, so we can always remember the missing corner. The case of the missing corner. <laughs> <laughs> Not the case of the missing corner. <laughs> I have a little boy determined to make some money. So he's like pulling out the mop bucket and the mop and <laughs> all this stuff. And I'm like, whoa, I'm going to come up with a different chore. Because mopping is like two jobs really to me. Wait, is it Tuesday? Wednesday. Wednesday. <gasps> oh my gosh. What the heck? I scratched it. Anyway, um, I'm getting ready to... Well, I've already messed with Freya. We've already done our training. We've done our playing. Done behavior stuff. Worked on place where she has to stay on her dog bed. And now her and Gunny almost got into a big tussle. So she's resting. Not a punishment. Just I just know that's when she's got to rest. And we're getting ready to go to Target. Well, I'm not getting ready. I'm about to fold these towels and sit here and drink my coffee but we do need to go to target we have to get a gift the girls are going to a birthday party tomorrow because their friend turns 13 she turns 13 on the 4th of july that's what's going on i'm a little a little exhausted right now hello got some good news danny's headed home so we will be ready by the time he gets here we can go to the baseball game there's a 4th of July kind of like celebration. They're doing the fireworks and stuff tonight because tomorrow they have an away game. And yeah, I'm glad that he's gonna be home in time to go to the game with us. We're gonna have a full box. Our pub bought a box at the stadium. So stadium? No, it's a ballpark. At the ballpark and we just, when we can make it, we make it to the games and when we can't, we just, tell friends of ours to go enjoy the box. And today we're bringing friends along, so that'll be fun. And I think it's gonna be really hot. Anyway, we got back from Target. I had lunch, fed Freya. <laughs> and then we had crumble cookies. I think I shared that, I actually did, I shared that on my stories. I tried four flavors. We only got four flavors today. I already knew this going in, but the one I picked out was the best, in my opinion. There was an apple pie, a birthday cake with a, the 4th of July theme with the sprinkles, then there was a s'mores, and then the cornbread, which, the cornbread, it tastes just like cornbread. 
a lot of the flavors do taste like what they're supposed to taste like but it was just really good the apple pie is very much like an apple pie and i'm not feeling pie right now and the s'mores mm, those are the two flavors still left on my plate <laughs> that's why i say that anyway i thought it'd be fun to bring home a box of um crumble cookie when danny gets home he can have some it's all chilling in the beverage fridge right now but it should be ready to go I need to take Freya for an environmental. I think we're gonna go to the sports shop. I'm really limited on where I can take her, but I like looking at things in the sports shop, so. Sydney, Sydney wants to come with me. I don't know if any of the other kids do, but Sydney wants to go. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm still kind of in gym attire. Kind of, sorta. I haven't showered yet, but I've already been out and about. I don't feel bad about it because being out with her, she makes me sweaty anyway. Anyway, um, let me get ready for that and have enough time to play with her out front, hopefully shower. I think the game is at seven, so I should have plenty of time. I don't know if we're gonna eat there. We'll discuss that later, it's fine. Yeah, so I hope you guys are all having a very good July 3rd. If you're celebrating July 4th on July 4th, Happy July 4th. I say that because we're not, I don't, we don't have plans. And like I said, the girls are going to a birthday party tomorrow. Happy July 3rd slash July 4th. You had me at a low. Cause where you go, baby, where you go. I don't need nobody else. I got you. And you got me too. I wanna do what you want to We can leave and run away Someday Someday Whoa. This one's for Sydney! The next one's for Sydney! This one's for you, Eddie. Yeah. That was for Sydney. Sure. Okay. Hi guys, it's Friday night, day after 4th of July, but I've not had a real chance to update you on what's go been going on. Not a whole lot, but you know, just vlogging for posterity. 4th of July, I'll have to fill you in with some snaps and stories because I didn't film like anything. And tonight we're going to the pub because my friend's friend from London is in town and we're gonna go see her. I gotta deal with her when I get back. Hi guys, I'm still working on um, trying to figure out how to do my hair. Who is that? Is that Cindy? Are you going for a run? Hi guys, it's me, Dee. It's Saturday. I have not gotten back on here for a minute and I needed to update you all on what's been going on in my life. First of all, I've been trying to figure out how to do my hair. Um, I hate having my hair like this, look, looking like um, uh, that character off of Charlie Brown, Peppermint Patty's sidekick, you know. Oh my gosh, what is her name? I don't remember. But anyway, um, and I realized I needed to use a flat iron to make those like wavy things that my hairdresser made did with my hair that day not a curling iron anyway that leads me into my other part of this discussion I was trying to do my hair because we had things going on this week we had a uh, fourth of July fourth of July and we had um, a thing at the pub uh, yesterday like friends had come up come to visit so we, I wanted to like look presentable but I don't know I'm still learning 
4th of July was a lot of fun. We went to the rooftop of one of the buildings that we own and it was the most amazing view of fireworks ever. And the kids were like, this is the best. It was really awesome. I felt like I was in the sky watching the fireworks. Granted, they weren't as good as the fireworks on the 3rd at the baseball park. They were like subpar. The baseball park's fireworks were better. Not amazing. I've seen amazing fireworks. They, they were not. But apparently it was the biggest fireworks show in all of eastern North Carolina. But when people say that, I have a hard time believing. Like, something so absolute. Like, claim staking or whatever the word is for that. Anyway. Um... I'm going to be in Ohio next Saturday. It's like packing time. It's getting ready time. I'm so very excited. I love a good road trip. I love to drive. I'm driving the truck. Um, we had considered buying a new vehicle, but we're holding off. And I'm holding off for my own reasons. I just, I don't like the idea of having a car payment, like another car payment. Like, and there's not even a vehicle that I really like desire so just to take on debt because of something i mean i need a new vehicle eventually but i don't need a new vehicle if you know what i mean but i'm very excited to be going on the road trip next week it's gonna be fun abby's so excited too and i think i'm gonna see my nephew and my best friend bff is coming out from indiana and she's gonna meet me in ohio and then we're gonna caravan back we have a fun week planned from what i've from what she's told me. I don't have that kind of a person here locally that I do those things with. And it's not the fact that we're doing big things, like big events, big like going out on the town, things like that. No, we do little things like cook at home and have conversations without interruptions. And well, we interrupt each other, but that's just how it goes. I probably should have some, did he take my truck? No, I probably should have some water. It's gonna be very hot today. We've got another heat advisory. Yay for that. That is not good for me because I can't train Freya like I want to. Um, my hair looks so weird. I don't have a whole lot of blonde in it. It's so weird. Oh my gosh. Actually, no, I do here. You could tell here. But I mean, for the most part, I've cut a lot of blonde out with a heat advisory i can't take her outside to train because it's just too hot the pavement is hot it's so funny because since i've had freya i've learned so much i've just dived in because she's a very hands-on type of dog so i needed to know all the things i needed to know like all the tips and tricks to keep them like mentally engaged physically active you know all the things and then i dove into like food and we've changed up the dog's diets and just all these things and um things i didn't pay attention to before because my dogs don't really play that sounds so weird but they don't i would say that we got complacent we got lazy with those dogs so that's why most likely but they seem content just being with us her on the other hand she needs so much so i've picked up so many lessons with her I've researched the hell out of stuff. Danny is not happy. He said, if I ever get sick or if something ever happens to me, nobody can take care of these dogs. <laughs> and the kids are going back to public school. The dogs are gonna be back on just plain kibble. He threatened Alpo. He threatened Alpo. In a can. I'm like, oh my gosh, I could never get sick. <sighs> the deal, here's the deal. I've researched and I've decided to transition the dogs to raw food. So they're half and half right now. Am I, what am I doing? I want to have a freezer and I want to do meal prep for the dogs. I don't know, this could be a problem. I could see where Danny, where his points are. Yeah, I got it. I talked Danny into taking care of Freya this morning. I was gonna sleep in and he was gonna take care of Freya, but I woke him up gently at 6 a.m. and I said, she's barking, she's ready to come out. And then I couldn't sleep in and I was like low-key spying on him, seeing if he was still outside with her. 
He wasn't. He didn't do the fe he didn't play like the fetch thing that I, like we do every morning when I, she comes out of the crate. We play fetch outside in the front or the back. It doesn't matter, but she's physically active. I came downstairs and she was so calm, and I'm like, oh, what, what did she what she do? What, why she she didn't even get up when I came down the stairs? He had given her a treat. <laughs> A rawhide, a bully stick, and I'm like, oh my gosh, she's not gonna eat. She's not gonna train. He's like, well, she's not interested in the kibble. That's because you gave her a treat. She doesn't have the drive now that she's got something in her stomach. Oh my gosh. So, anyway, I'm going to have to trust that he will do his best to follow that regimen that I've left for him. I've got a schedule that I just sent him and I'm working on her little manual. And he's like, you just made this so much more complicated. Yeah, I probably did. But as long as those things are done, like she's got to have things done. I told him it's so that she doesn't go complete a-hole at the end of the day. This sets her day up when it's structured like this. So in the evening, she can chill, She's done all the things, it's fine, I'm just worried. I've been very tempted to bring her on this road trip, but I'd also want to have fun. I can't do that if I'm maintaining this schedule on vacation. So I'm gonna trust Danny's process with my guidance on that. Hi guys, I just got back from a walk with Gunny. Anyway, I'm sweating, I'm hot, I'm hot. I did my hair, I have a hair clip in the back. Anyway, I know I talk a lot about my dogs lately, especially since I'm learning so much from having Freya. I've been really enjoying giving them their meals. I'm not gonna show you guys in case anyone is like super like, does not wanna see meat, but I switched them to basically a raw diet and they've got, like Gunny has like four different, five different animals in his dish. Raiders got four because he does not like the fish. Anyway, I really like preparing their meals. I feel like that makes me weird, but I like set it all up and I'm like, here's this and this. It's like I'm packing kids lunches or something. You see this? We don't normally get dogs at shed, so this is crazy. That's my hair, but there's so much hair floating around. Oh my gosh, and it's all hers. Addie and I are getting ready for our big trip coming up. So this vlog is going to be a bunch of like getting it all done. You know how it goes. Today we went to Walmart. Sydney's also going to camp so she needed stuff too. But we went to Walmart and we got a bunch of snacks for, I'm whispering because habit. But we got a bunch of snacks for her camp. We got stuff for the road. I like to set up um, a cooler and a dry bag is what I call it with cold drinks in the cooler, cold foods in the cooler obviously. The dry bag is for things like chips and cookies and trail mix and protein bars and such. So we got most of those things today. I do um, try to put like some fun stuff in there too. I picked up some gummy bears. M&M's, peanut M&M's for me. I'll show you what we pack though. That's always fun. We'll do a little haul and show you how we pack as well. We're taking the truck. I think I already mentioned that, but we're taking the truck and that'll be interesting. And Freya's awake now, so. Is she? She's hot. We just got back from the park. I got the fan blowing on her. You ready to go to Ohio? It is awful, awfully hot in this house. And I know it's just me because I've been running around doing the things, you know, cooking and all that. I've got the crock pot going, which I thought would emit less heat. But I think coupled with the fact that it's, or was 90 degrees outside, uh, it's just hot and I've had my exhaust fan going. But what I need to do right now is figure out how we're going to put together this pork. Cause I'm hungry. So I'm supposed to go to the gym today. I didn't do that. 
we forgot. I, and by forget, I mean I don't like to be told the day of and learn the day of that I've got something, that one of my kids has something. If you tell me the day of, it's too late. Now we gotta switch our plans up. So that's what we had to do today. I'm not trying to rush. Like, I like going to the gym, but I'm not gonna rush to get in there to do it. It's already hot out. So Danny took her, but I was like, you know, I'm not, I'm not going to the gym. I'm just not, I gotta do stuff with Freya and I'm just not gonna go today. So I'm spending my time cleaning up. I leave, Addie and I leave in three days. It's a lot of work to go on vacation. It's still a lot of work if it's not the whole family. I'm cleaning up. I'm making, I'm trying to make his, the process for him so much more smoother because I know how it goes. You know, I need a snack. I need a snack and then I'll be okay. I bought these at Aldi today, or this, at Aldi. We should try it. One of my big hangups with feeding the dogs raw stuff <laughs> is that it's messy. They put the things on the floor and if I don't wash them carefully, I don't know where they go. Like where do the things go? Where are you setting them? One time Freya brought a fragment of a bone to her, not a fragment, it was the end of it. She brought it to the crate with her. I didn't even know it was in her mouth. That's how sneaky that little girl is. But it smelled so bad. It smelled like something had died in her crate. It was disgusting. Got it out, cleaned it twice, thrice. I cleaned it twice, Danny cleaned it for the third time. It was just so bad. But the dogs aren't picky with their food anymore. I've got crackers, so that's what we're, that's what we're dipping. Mackenzie brought some homemade stuff last weekend. It was so good. What are we dipping this? Oh dang. Okay. I got it. This tastes com comparable. Comparable? It's pretty good. Maybe I need to do pretzels instead. Yeah, doing the raw food for the dogs is a mess. So I, get, I just got done mopping the floor. And it's so hot. I'm trying to find different ways to entertain. But anyway. I'm just doing all these things, all these chores to set the place up to be lived in by two dudes, if that makes sense. I do this to myself, but I'm really ready. I'm ready to go on vacation. To me, it's a vacation. This is my best friend's vacation. Seeing my family on vacation is a vacation. <laughs> I'm ready to go because it's a break. I'm going to do all this work to get out of here, but it is going to be a break when I'm gone. I had this on my neck, it started bugging me, so it's going down there. I'm making Cubans. I burnt the grilled cheese. In my defense, I had the pan waiting for a while. I'll just scrape it with a butter knife, it'll be fine. Definitely noticed that. Ah, hot. I did not choose to do ciabatta. These are actually hoagie rolls. I don't know if you can see this. My hands are like all buttery. Anyway, these are hoagie rolls or sausage, sausage rolls. But I decided to do that because I didn't want to deal with the panini crust. Now I'm having to deal with the flipping of it. Okay. Cubans are my most favorite sandwich. I think I've mentioned this before. Absolute favorite hot sandwich ever. It's even better when I don't make it and someone else makes it for me. Look, I apologize if you don't do meat. I'm going to be showing this video clip for the next this many seconds so I can show how this is made. All right, I made pulled pork in here in the crock pot. Season it however you will. I didn't do it a whole lot. I basically seasoned it lightly like I'm making tacos with it, which tomorrow I probably will, but I didn't want it to taste too taco-y. And it also didn't want it to be too plain. I got pulled pork. I've got the hoagie bread. This is um, mayo and mustard. Half a cup of mayo, quarter cup of mustard, but I cut that in half because it's just three of us having it and we always end up with too much. Um, okay, y'all, I had to improvise. Don't even, don't even come for me. I usually like to use Dijon, but I was feeling yellow today. And pickles, I dried them off a little bit. Butter to do the thing to the bread. You got ham. 
to go with a pork and you got Swiss cheese. Bam. Super duper easy. I don't normally make it in a pan though. It's just today I was feeling like I didn't want to clean another thing. So, here's where we are. I also made homemade tomato soup from my friend's uh, veggies that she gave me from her garden. That's fun. I thought it out. I made it last week, actually. That's warm enough because Lennox does not want this. And I just realized I don't have a side. Okay, this is my first reaction through the camera. Okay, come through, let me see. <gasps> what is it? Like, oh, wait, that's oh my so good. gosh, she just straightened her hair. Wait. Dee Dee! <laughs> It looks so good. It was wild. Now you go outside for five minutes, it's gonna curl back up. Oh, oh my god. It's see? so pretty and so long. I love it. Yeah, it is. I love it. It's so weird to see you with straight hair. It's so pretty. Oh my god. Look, it did look ends. Look at the ends. They're not straight. Uh, yeah. You're gonna have a hard time with that. <laughs> So I can't believe it. You can do it if you wanted on the weekend while I got my um while I'm with you. True. I wish my hair was my straight. I'll have my um my straightener with me. You see my view reel. You can see my highlights in my view reel. I see your highlights in your ends. It's so weird. Isn't this so pretty? Yeah. Feels weird cause I have but like you need to add like some smoothing stuff because it's like it's brittle. It's not brittle. It's just wrapping around my hand, my fingers. It's Wednesday. We're getting ready. I'm getting ready to go on this trip. It's very exciting. Um. A lot easier that we're bringing one kid but we're also I'm also like that I'm bringing one kid but I'm also having to pack for a dog and no it's not Freya <clears throat> it's actually Raider he's small and easy to travel with because he's older he's behaved this is where I'm gonna end this week's video just because I'm gonna be super busy and I'm not gonna be able to be much of an entertainment source the rest of the day so I hope you guys have enjoyed watching my video and if you're new here I typically uh, well I don't have a schedule I'll just say that. I don't have a schedule but I typically upload videos about just my life in general life with kids life with dogs travel when I do it speaking of I'm going to be vlog I'm going to be vlogging on this trip Where'd she go? Okay, that's her place. I'm going to be vlogging on this trip. I want to remember everything. I don't know what that noise is. But we're, I'm gonna be um, vlogging everything, essentially. We're doing a birthday weekend this weekend with my family and I get to see my nephew. And then we're going to Indiana, which is gonna be fun. Um, it's just me going to Indiana though. Addie's gonna stay and hang with her cousins and then we're gonna meet back up and then we're gonna head home after that. So stay tuned for all the fun and I will see you guys in the comments. Bye. with you don't you <laughs> she sees you oh oh my gosh
sure? Oh, okay. Gunny, blink twice if you need help. <laughs> <laughs> 